One of the most difficult things about being an online entrepreneur is finding clients. Every single month you have to put yourself out there looking for new clients and I can tell you it's tough. So how can you reverse this process? How can you make clients find you instead? I'm Alessandro and I'm an online entrepreneur and in this channel I give advice on how to quit 9 to 5 and find private clients. So if you want to watch more videos like this ones that you're watching, click the like button below and subscribe to the channel with the red button you have and click on the bell so you will get a notification every time I will post a new video. So let's talk about how to reverse this process, how to make clients find you. Welcome to the Growth Academy. If you are an online entrepreneur and you're looking for clients, I'm pretty sure that you try to create an account on a freelance marketplace like Upwork or Fiverr. Now, those platforms are great, are great for professionals that are looking for clients, are great for clients that are looking for services from professionals, but there is a big problem about them. The problem is that they are overcrowded. It means that if you create a new account right now, well, you will never show up on the search results. The reason is because there are so many other people on those platforms that are there for longer than you, they have more projects than you, they are more positive feedback than you. And when someone is uh, searching for a professional with your expertise, you will never show up. Those other people will show up, will be high in the search. And if you want to show up on the search, there are just two things you can do. You can lower your prices and this will have a bad consequence on your perceived value and on your self-esteem as well. Or you can spend money for advertising. But if you spend for ads on those websites and you combine these things with your lower price, well, you will never break even because you spend money for ads to get up in searches and at the same time, you're not pricing enough your services. So you won't get back the money that you're spending. Now, you can tell me that you use this strategy for the long run. So in a one year or two year time, you will show up in the, in the searches because you will have a lot of projects, you will have a lot of positive feedback, and I get it. But do you have this time? If you really want to use a, a freelance marketplace, well, at least look for one that is not that popular. For example, now that I'm at the moment that I'm recording this video, Elementor launched its own marketplace that is called Elementor Experts. Now, there is not much demand there, obviously, because it's new, but you won't have that huge competition that you have on Fiverr. I suggest you to create a new account there instead of creating a new account on Fiverr. You can create an account there, you can start building a portfolio there, put there all the projects you work for, and then pick the link of your page on Elementor Experts and post this link on all your social media profiles so people can find you. It's a better strategy than using something that is already overcrowded where you have no chance. And if you want, I put up a list of five marketplaces that you can use that are less popular than Fiverr and Upwork. And uh, well, in those marketplaces, it's easier to grow. So if you want this list, you will find the list in the description of this video. You have a link there and you can download this list and start creating, building your profile there. Before I keep going with this video, if you liked what I talked about so far, click the like button below this video because based on the number of likes, I understand what kind of videos I have to post on this channel. Another method you can use to be under the spotlight is to create your own marketplace. Now, I'm not telling you to create a new Fiverr because you will have to find the developers and it's going to take a long time. I'm not saying this. I'm saying that right now, nowadays, you have so many ways to create communities. And in a community that you create, you are the expert. Take, for example, Facebook groups. With Facebook groups, you can create a community of people that are all there because they want to reach the same goal. And if you use Facebook groups in the right way, you can seen by seen as an expert pretty quickly. You can establish trust with all the other people pretty quickly. Now, if you don't know how to create a Facebook group and you don't know how to use it to uh, grow your career, well, I have a masterclass in my membership website created by David Vidalis. David created this masterclass where it talks exactly about this. It talks about how to grow your career with Facebook groups, how to create one and everything you have to do to make it work. So again, you have a link in the description if you want to enroll in this masterclass and I suggest you to do that. 
And the last thing I want to highlight in order to find, to be found by clients is to create content. When I talk about creating content, I'm talking about what you're watching right now. Creating videos for YouTube, creating a new podcast or creating a blog. The only difference between uh, creating videos and creating audios than creating content for a blog is that if you post periodically a new video on your YouTube channel or you post periodically a new audio on your podcast, it's easier to be found because those systems, they work like search engines. If you are posting periodically every single week a new video on your YouTube channel, there is a good chance that people will find you there. If you instead create a blog on WordPress, well, it's a little more difficult. So I suggest you to stay with videos and audios. And don't make the mistake to think that your YouTube channel is meant to reach just your future clients. It's not like this. The reason why you're doing videos is because you are spreading the word. You're saying to the entire world what you do, who you are, and what you can help people with. So you're not reaching just clients, you're reaching a lot of a broad audience and then those people, maybe they will suggest your services to their friends and their family. That's why you want to periodically create new content on a blog, on a YouTube channel or on a podcast. And I know that it's not easy to start with a channel or start with a podcast because you will have a lot of limiting beliefs about it's too late to create a new channel, it's too late to create a podcast because there are so many other ones. Well, it's not true. You just need to start creating content without thinking about those things because there will always be a reason not to start. Creating my YouTube channel and posting videos on my YouTube channel is one of the biggest reasons why clients find me. They see my videos and then they decide to reach out to me. So do not stop yourself because of those limiting beliefs, but just start creating content and you will ask yourself questions later. Question of the day, what method are you using at the moment to find clients? Write the answer to this question in the comments below and don't forget to like this video if you think that the advice I gave are interesting or useful. Like the video, write your answer in the comments and I'll see you in the comments below or in the next video. Cheers.